everyone, I'm glad to be back to Artsy Fartsy. Woo! Glad to have so, you. So last uh, fall, in like September, I went to the Rainbow Gathering for the first time. Oh. And I started to experience different sides of myself in reality. You can ask Autumn about that. She's right about everything. But, um, <laughs> but afterwards, I decided to try something I've never done before and write poetry about nature. Which I think people should do more often because nature's really cool. This is my, <laughs> this is my, this is to my favorite season. This is an ode to fall. Um, I don't fall, you do not owe me anything, but every time you leave, my body is full. How can I celebrate a season which has given me such abundance? When spring teases its rosebuds back from the poker table, and my potential breaks its teeth tripping down the staircase of someone else's ambition, and I can point on a calendar where my grief became ripe. You feed me bowls of squash and cauliflower soup fresh from the harvest. And I must say to you, Fall, when September becomes a mossy heartbeat stumbling through the orchards on the legs of a bumblebee, I will hurtle toward you with the courage of a jackrabbit who knows all too well the shadows of the mouth that's chasing him. I will defenestrate myself from the highest room of summer's tallest tower, bursting into your arms like a cascade of helicopter seeds caught in a gust. I want to learn you like this, the way my toes, the way I squish my toes through your melted Crayola grass. You are most beautiful when your clouds are pink and your sunsets explosive. Holy October, ravish this wreck of a man. I have never known a month so close to my nostrils. I am the tiniest grasshopper eating white dandelions from your lap, spreading hope inside myself with the wind of a million wishes. At night, I hold you close and, and grab fistfuls of twigs from your scalp. I, wa I watch the bumbling brooks meander from your cheekbones and want nothing but to go bald with you. Remember how I loved you, gullible, when I tried to kiss you with, fi with fistfuls of tense poles in my mouth. Your spirit rocked me like the world wailed. It was you who taught Muddy to sing the blues. Hosanna, you shook the truth out of me the way acorns pelt tin roofs during the nor'easter. I am still trembling. I swear the veil was so thin between this world and the next that I felt my body break out in epiphanies. I swear I found God in your arms. But if I was wrong, may the steel zipper of winter rip the corneas clean off my eyes every morning. <laughs> may I be forced to wander the earth aimlessly, carving my name into every rock for the crime of loving you. Because fall, I know I am not breathing until the air is crisper than the foliage. I know no life is richer than life which has reached its end. Please, undress yourself for me like the giving tree. I want to feel the womb where the squirrel and the bear hibernate. Let me be the last name on your tongue when the Merrimack crossed into permanence. Thank you.